Namaste my dear children how are you all i hope you are fine and welcome to today's math class today we are discussing as you know already we are discussing the decimals chapter from the decimal chapter in the previous class we studied that is uh, comparison of decimals comparing the decimals and conversion that is applications of decimals in money money conversions length and weight today we are going to discuss about uh, the addition of decimals how do we add decimals so how do we add the decimals it is quite similar to our whole numbers in what we will do in our whole numbers we will add ones place digits and then tens place digits and then that is hundreds place digits and so on that is from right side we will start here also we will add the digits under hundreds place digits then tens place digits then ones place digits and hundreds place digits thousand place digits and so on then we will keep the pointer at the required places at the required place we keep the point while we are adding we will ignore the point then we will keep the point so while you are writing the numbers decimal places be careful that the digits should be written at the proper places the digits should be written at the correct places then only we will get the correct sum it's of writing one place digit under 10th 10th place or it's of writing 10th place digit under 100th place we will get the wrong uh, uh, sum so how to add uh, decimals decimals are added so like uh, decimals are added like whole numbers similar to whole numbers decimals are added or added in the similar way to in the similar way to whole numbers whole numbers how we add we will add in the similar way how we will add in the whole numbers that is uh, here in the decimals first we will add uh, if you find hundreds place digit is there add hundreds place digit if it is thousands place digit is there add the thousands place digit so add add digits under digits under thousands thousands add digits under thousands and then add digits under hundreds add the digits under hundreds then add the digits under tens then add the digits under ones place that is of before the decimal point and then add the digits under hundreds see this is hundreds and that is 1 by 100 this is hundreds are and digits under hundreds and so on and so on in the sense this thousands ten thousands lakhs so we have to add thousands digits if i add the thousand digits then add the hundred digits then add the tens digits and hundreds digits ones digits and it is and so on what we have done for the whole numbers in the similar way we have to do it let us discuss uh, a few examples how to add these numbers for example example here it is uh, add add 7.4 plus 10.45 10.45 plus 1.657 1.657 first digit what we have here is 7.4 so this is ones place digits and this is the tens place digits tens place digits next we have 10.45 so 10 how do we write zero will be under ones place and one is there the tens place keep point four is there the tens place and five is there the hundreds place five is there the hundreds place that is 10.45 10.45 next 1.657 one should be written under ones place six should be written under only tens place and five should be written under only that is hundreds place and seven should be written under thousands place thousands place now we have to add these three decimals so here you see we have after decimal only one digit is there and here two digits are there and here three digits are there what about the other digits sir the first that is 
we can keep them as zero. That is zero. And this is zero. And this is also zero. Okay, zero. Now add them for first. What we have done? That is from right side to left side. Add them. Thousands place digits. Zero plus zero, zero. Zero plus seven, seven. Then zero plus five, five. Five plus five, ten. So one will get it here, and we'll keep zero out here. Now one plus six, seven. Seven plus four, eleven. Eleven plus four, fifteen. So keep one out here and five right under the tens place digits. Now we have the decimal point is there. Keep the decimal point. Now seven plus zero, seven. Seven plus one, eight. Eight plus one, nine. And tens place we have only one is there. Therefore, what is the sum here? Is nineteen point five zero seven. Nineteen point five zero seven. Like this, we will add the decimals. Is it clear, children? How to add the decimals? We will discuss few problems from the exercise. Now we will discuss exercise number eight point five. The first bit. Find the sum in each of the following. The first question it is uh, a bit. It is zero point zero zero seven. Then we have eight point five. Eight is there in the ones place, right? Eight and the ones place, and five in the tens place. What about the hundreds place? There is no number means it is zero. What about the uh, hundred thousands place? There is no number means it is zero. Then thirty point zero eight. Thirty point means three is under tens, and zero is under ones. Then zero eight. There is no third digit. Keep it is zero. Then add the first. Thousand place seven plus zero seven seven plus zero seven zero plus zero 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 plus eight eight zero plus five 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 plus zero it is five keep point then zero plus eight 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 plus zero it is eight three thirty eight point five eight seven now the same bit we have twenty seven point zero seven six now the second decimal is nine point Zero zero five. The third decimal is three point seven. There is no digit in the hundredth place and the thousandth place. So take them as what zeros. Then add the the rightmost digits. Six plus five, eleven. Eleven plus zero, it is eleven. Keep one and one right at the under the zero. Seven plus zero, seven. Seven plus zero, seven. Seven plus one, eight. Zero plus zero is zero. Zero plus seven, seven point seven plus three. It is ten. Ten plus nine, nineteen. Keep one, and this is nine. Two plus one, three. Therefore, what is the sum? It is thirty-nine point seven eight one. Now the e bit we have here zero point seven five. Then the second number it is ten point four two five. Ten point four. Then we have two is there. Two in the sense two point zero zero zero. So here zero point seven five. The third digit is not there. So we we'll give it as zero. Then write plus sign. Are the hundred thousand place digits zero plus zero 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 plus five 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 plus two seven seven plus zero it is seven seven plus four eleven eleven plus zero it is eleven. Keep one and keep one and another two. Then put the points. Zero plus zero, zero. Two plus one, three. All it is one. Thirteen point one seven five. So write the digits at the correct places. Then add the digits from right side to left side. That is thousandth place digits, hundredth place digits, tenth place digits, ones place digits, tens place digits, hundreds place digits. Like this, we will add the decimals. Is it clear, children? Now we will discuss exercise number eight point five. Some word problems. Second question. Rasid, Rasid spent rupees thirty five point seven five for math book. And rupees thirty two point six zero for science book. Find the total amount spent by Rasid. Rasid he uh, bought two books, one maths book and the other one is science book for different uh, prices. Find the total amount spent by Rasid. The total amount spent means 
the sum of the amount spent on maths book and the amount spent on the science book means are the total cost of the two books we get the total amount spent by received so now write the statements statements will be like this so amount spent on amount spent on maths book amount spent on maths book is equal to rupees 35.75 rupees 35.75 and amount spent on amount spent on science book on science book it is science book it is rupees 32.60 32.60 total amount spent by rasid is equal to therefore total amount total amount spent by amount spent by rasid rasid is equal to what the sum of these two amounts so write this up at uh, the rough column and add the two decimals add the two decimals that is 35.75 plus 32.60 then write add the numbers 5 plus 0 it is 5 7 plus 6 it is 30 write 3 under 6 and 1 under 2 5 plus 2 7 7 plus 1 8 and keep the decimal point 3 plus 3 it is 6 now what is the total amount he spent it is rupees 68.35 rupees he spent in purchasing math book as well as science book so what we have done here it is we have added the cost of both the books by writing the decimals under the correct places of the digits now we will discuss one more question that is the fourth question Nazreen Nazreen a girl bought 3 meters 20 centimeters cloth for her shirt so she purchased some cloth for her shirt what is the length of the cloth it is 3 meters 20 centimeters and also she bought some cloth for her trouser it is 2 meters 5 centimeters find the total length of the cloth bought by her the total length of the cloth bought by her we have to find means what again we should add the decimals of the cloth which is the length of the cloth required for the shirt and required for the trouser so what it is the cloth length of the cloth for her shirt is equal to or it is cloth for the shirt is equal to cloth for the shirt is equal to how much it is 3 meters 20 centimeters write in decimals how do we write in decimals 3 meters 20 centimeters how do we write 3.20 meters 3.20 meters now cloth for trouser cloth for trouser cloth for trouser how much it is 2 meters 5 centimeters so write in the what decimal form 2 meters means 2.5 centimeters means it is 0. sorry 2.05 meters so we have studied convert this into centimeters 2 meters 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeters 200 2 meters means it is 2 into 100 it is 200 meters plus 5 centimeters it is 205 centimeters that when we convert into meters we will divide with 100 so that we get 2.05 meter therefore total length of the cloth is equal to total length of the cloth total length of the cloth is equal to so add both the numbers that is a rough work you got here so add both the numbers so what we get first one is 3.20 the second one is 2.05 add both the numbers 0 plus 5 5 2 plus
plus 0, 2 point, 3 plus 2 is 5, 5 point to 5, that is 5.25 meters. 5.25 meters or, or it is 5 meters 25 centimeters. 5 meters 25 centimeters is the total cloth purchased by or bought by Nazarene. How much it is? 5 meters 25 centimeters. So write this correct statement. And write the correct decimal, decimal numbers, then add the decimal numbers, we will get the required answer. Is it clear, children? Now, we will discuss exercise number 8.5. The seventh question Ravi purchased 5 kg 400 grams rice, 2 kg. 20 gram sugar and 10 kg 850 grams flour. So here, find the weight of his purchases. He found three types of ingredients, grocery items. So what are the three ingredients of the grass items? It is grocery items, rice, sugar and it is flour with the different weights. Rice it is 5 kilograms. 400 grams and sugar it is 2 kilograms 20 grams and 10 kilograms 850 grams is the flour find the weight of his purchases means what to do we have to add all the weights of rice sugar and flour together that will be the weight of his purchases now write this statement so what he purchased it is sir Ravi purchased the rice that is weight of weight of rice is equals to what it is 5 kg 400 grams if you write this in the decimal form what we get it is 5.400 kg 5.400 kg now weight of weight of Sugar, weight of sugar is equal to 2 kg 20 grams. That is equal to 2 kg means 2.20 grams 0.20 kg. 2.020 kg of sugar. The third one is flour. That is weight of flour is equal to it is 10 kg. 850 grams 10 kg is 850 grams that is equal to 10.850 kg 10.850 kg now like these three items he purchased therefore the weight of the total weight of his purchases the total weight of total weight of his purchases his purchases is equals to so what to do we have to add the three weights so write those numbers aside and write first one is 5.400 the second one it is 2.20 grams means we have studied in the previous section so 1 gram is equals to what it is 1 by 1000 kg that is 0 0.0 Crazy we have studied. Now 20 grams means it is what 20 by 1000 kg that is equal to 0 0.020 kg. This we have studied in the previous classes how to convert them. So after converting the weight of sugar will get it is what 2.020 kg. Then the flour it is 10.0. 850. Alright? Then plus sign and add the numbers. 0 plus 0 plus 0 is 0. 0 plus 2. 2. 2 plus 5. 7. 4 plus 0. 4. 4 plus 8. 12. Write 2 under 8. Um, 1 under 0. Keep the decimal point. 
Now five plus two seven, seven plus zero seven, seven plus one eight, and it is one. So we will get what it is eighteen point two seven zero, eighteen point two seven zero cases. So that is the total rate of his purchases will be eighteen point two seven zero cases, or it is eighteen kilograms, eighteen kilograms. 270 grams 80 kilograms 270 grams is the total purchases done by who ravi so what we did here it is we wrote the weights of all the three grocery items and we have added this uh, we got the total weight of his purchases as 18.27 kg or 18 kg 270 grams is it clear children how to solve this kind of word problems clear yes so i hope you understand today's concept that is addition of decimals what we did in the addition of decimals the first thing it is how we will add the whole numbers in the similar way we will add the decimals also that is from right side to left side that is a uh, thousand of the place then hundred of the place then ten to tens place then ones tens hundreds thousands ten lakhs like that we will add it uh, then after uh, while we are adding the numbers first we should regroup the terms Re regroup the numbers or the digits or we we how to write the digits at the correct places at the correct places then we can add the uh, the decimals in the correct way so this is about uh, addition of decimals and we have solved some of the problems and some word problems we have discussed how to solve those word problems we have discussed from exercise number 8.5 and i hope you understand today's concept okay and your homework is uh, to test your knowledge what we studied so far the homework part it is uh, exercise number 8.5 question number 1 b d and e f question number 1 b d and e f question number 3 question number 5 and question number 6 this is your homework complete the given homework and we will discuss in next class about the subtraction of subtraction of decimals with that the decimal chapter will be completed thank you very much 